Hey everybody, I wanted to take a moment and record a video tutorial about one of the most exciting announcements to come out of Microsoft this week. It's not breakout rooms, that's going to be in another video. This one is for the IT administrators that are watching. If you are an end user and you want to use the new preview features, go ahead and grab this video, send it to your IT staff. This is going to be um, a guided tutorial for how to enable the new Microsoft Teams public preview features for your organization. Right here on my screen, I'm logged in as a global admin. You only need to be a Teams admin to do this, but I figure I'd go ahead and just log in with everything I've got. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the admin.microsoft.com, the Office 365 admin portal. Then if you scroll down here a little bit to Teams, this is the Teams Admin Center. So when we get into the Teams Admin Center, you'll notice a new section right here along the side for update policies. This is how do you want Microsoft Teams to update what features do you want available. This is really lightweight right now. There's really only one new checkbox in this section. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Add, and we've got some early adopters that we want to turn on the public preview for. So we're going to create a new policy, and we're going to call that early adopters. Now this is really easy. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on show preview features. Go ahead and click that on and hit apply. So now we've created a policy. We have to go ahead and assign that to somebody or they won't see it. So if we select the policy that we just created with the preview features turned on, we can click manage users. And you'll notice right here that this is where you would assign this to individual users. It tells me that if I want to assign this to a group, which is what I would want to do in a larger like enterprise environment, that I would use the group policy tab. Well, there is no group policy tab here available, so we're going to do that in PowerShell in a second with a simple one-line command. Um, but if I've got a special person, the CEO of the company, he wants to try out the, uh, the new features in Microsoft Teams, I can search for him right here, and I can give it to a one-person at a time if I want to. So if I search for Nestor, comes up here with Nestor's name, I can click Add and then hit Apply. Now, after a period of time, Nestor will see the new preview features in his client. We'll talk about that in a second, where to go find that. But this is an early adopters group. I want to actually assign this to the entire group. Well, there's a new commandlet where we can now create this policy via PowerShell we went ahead and did that in the Teams Admin Center already, but we can do a group policy assignment for the update policy and assign that to a group of people. So what we're gonna do to assign it to a group is we're gonna go back over to the Admin Center and I've already got a group called Office 365 Adoption. Those are gonna be my early adopters. Now, I'm gonna need the ID of the group from Azure, so I'm gonna open up the Azure Active Directory Admin Center and then we're just going to go into Azure Active Directory and Groups. We're going to go find that, uh, that group ID so that we can note it for later for PowerShell. So let's go right here. There's Office 365 Adoption. I'm going to open that up. And there's that object ID. So we're going to want to grab that and copy it so that we can use it later. So we're just going to open up uh, Notepad here. And we're going to paste that in so that we have the group ID when we need it. Now we're going to go over to PowerShell and we're going to assign this to that particular group. So I'm going to open up PowerShell running as an administrator. We're going to run it as administrator, hit yes, and then we're going to need to connect to Teams and connect to um, the Skype Online uh, PowerShell modules. So if you don't have the Microsoft Teams PowerShell module yet, you're going to want to do an install dash module and then Microsoft Teams and that will install this module for you. So we're gonna go ahead and connect dash Microsoft Teams. Let's get connected to the, uh, the admin service right here. And I'm gonna need my, my admin credentials. So let's copy those real quick. So there's that administrator and here is his password. So I'm logged in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start a, uh, a session for Skype Online. We're going to do new uh, CS online session. That gets us all uh, where we want to be. And then 
the new command that we're going to use is the new CS group policy assignment command. Um, we're going to need three pieces of information. What type of policy is it? This is an update policy. What group are we going to apply it to? And which policy is it? What's the name of the policy? We created the one called early adopters, so we're going to use that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do new-cs group policy assignment right there. And then we're going to need that group ID. So let's go ahead and grab that, if we spell it correctly. And I'm going to copy this again, paste that in. There's my group. Then we're going to get the policy type, which is policy type right there. And this new policy type is a Teams Update Management Policy. All one word. Let me stretch that out a little bit so you can see Teams Update Management Policy. That's the type of policy. And then what's the name of the policy that we're going to um, add here? So policy name, that's going to be early adopters inside of quotes because I've got you know a space there. And then we're going to go ahead and run that command to assign that group to that particular policy. And there we go. So now that's been assigned to everybody that's in that Active Directory group. If I want to add the preview features for Microsoft Teams, the public preview, all I got to do is drop a user in that Office 365 adoption Active Directory group, and then they'll inherit that policy. So where do the users go to see this policy? That's really easy. They just open up Teams. I'm logged in as, as Megan Bowen right now, who happens to be the only Office 365 really adopter. Um, it may take a little bit for this policy to apply to the person's account. So I would give it maybe a little bit of time, maybe a few hours or something like that. And then they probably will have to quit and restart the Teams app in order to see this. But once she's all good to go, once some time has passed, she'll click her picture up here in the top corner. And then under the About section right here, there it is, Public Preview. She can check that box, and now it will switch over to the Public Preview features. So we're going to log in here as Megan again. i got to get her credentials real quick. So now that Megan's logged in, if she goes back over here to her account and then goes to the About, she'll see now the Public Preview. You're going to hear from your users that also this checked the box for developer preview. This is a known issue that we've heard from Microsoft. So um, a fix is coming for that, but just tell them not to worry about having check boxes for both. When you turn on public preview, it's going to check the box in both places. But now Megan has access to those features in the Microsoft Teams public preview. In December, they've rolled a few of these uh, preview features out already. There's going to be reactions. Um, the 2x2 two two gallery view if you're using VDI. On the web, you're going to have uh, together mode now, as well as the large gallery, up to 49 participants on screen. And then um, a few other features that, that I'll post in the blog post uh, that I'll link to in the uh, description below. Moving forward, if you ever want to know what's in the, uh, the public preview for Microsoft Teams, that's going to be in the current channel preview release notes along with the rest of the release notes for the other Office applications. So that's all there is to it, a simple PowerShell command that will let you assign a group to a particular policy, and then now you just have to manage your champions like you do already in an Active Directory group. I hope that helps out. Let me know if you have any questions below, and uh, I'll see you next time.